Hey there, everybody. First of all, let me go ahead and wish everybody a Happy New Year. Hope you had a good holiday. This video probably will be posted um, either on New Year's Day or very shortly thereafter, within the few days after the holidays. So again, I hope everybody had a great holiday and uh, I hope you enjoy this video and all of our others and thank you for all the continued support over the years. Hopefully we'll have some new and exciting things going here on here at Watch Report for 2020. So today I have the updated or I guess more second version of the Obris Morgan Sea Star. This is the 70s collection and the original one that I reviewed and I'll have all the links down below uh, for you to take a look at for the 60s version of the review. This is the 70s version, obviously inspired by dive launches of the 70s. So there are a few notable changes, uh, especially with the original one that I reviewed, because at that time, the stainless steel bracelet was not available. That became available later as an option just to buy extra. And then when the second batch of those watches were done, they were put on the site with the bracelets already available. Uh, the 70s versions have had the bracelets available from the start. Now you see two examples here. Um, this one is a black sunray dial with your sapphire bezel insert. You got that faded blue and orange color. And then you have one of the all black PVD versions, which has a bluish colored dial. I hope that's coming across uh, on the camera here. So let me give you a uh, little bit of backstory here. I guess after I reviewed the 60s version, um, Justin from Obris Morgan had reached out to me and uh, said, hey, I'll take note of what you said about uh, you know, our dial logo and text. And I, I said it in the initial review that you know, they had been using that same dial text for quite a while and that to me it just... I didn't care for it. I wanted something a little bit cleaner. Uh, why didn't they just go with uh, their logo that they have used uh, for years, say on the case back or on the crown or whatever. So when these versions actually came up uh, available for pre-order, um, Justin had actually emailed me and said, hey Don, I took your advice and blah, blah, blah. Now, let me just get this out of the way. I doubt that it was just my, you know, words in a review that made him decide to change uh, the dial logo and go for a cleaner um, and at least to me more visually uh, pleasing, aesthetically pleasing dial. I'm sure other reviews said it or mentioned it or people maybe commented on Facebook groups, social media, whatever. Whoever is responsible uh, for it, I appreciate it. I really do like the look of this dial better than the six. Well, I shouldn't say that. And it's kind of weird. You need to look uh, back at the 60s version in my review or, you know, on their website where it's still available for purchase. A couple uh, versions are still available. And uh, that one had, I guess this is a much cleaner and... Um, I don't want to say sterile because it's not a sterile dial, but it is a much cleaner uh, dial. Whereas the other one had a lot going on. It was like a dual dial with um, uh, the center dial cut out and everything like that. And it had a nice aesthetic look to it. I just did not care uh, for that old style, you know, just Obris Morgan timepieces plastered uh, across the dial, especially in the font that they used. So to choose between the two, this one definitely is my favorite version. Uh, the new bracelets are really nice. They do not have um, a dive extension on the clasp or anything like that, but they are you know, kind of modeled after some 70s dive watches that might not have had those as well. You still have that helium release valve there at uh, uh, the four o'clock position. It's a manual helium release valve. You know, I, I keep getting questions on social media. Hey, what's that second crown for? 
it's a helium release valve. Now the biggest difference is, as I said, is there's going to be a bunch of versions. So you're just going to want to take a look on the Obris Morgan website. Some of them may be sold out at this time. I do know as of recording this video, which I'm actually recording this on New Year's Eve, these two versions are available. This is the blasted with that black sunray dial, the orange and blue. This is PVD with the blue dial. These two versions are available. Now pricing is going to differ. Uh, they're a little bit more than the 60s versions, but we're talking about $10, $20, $30 at the most for the most expensive version. Uh, these have sapphire bezel inserts versus the ceramic. As you saw on the screen, they are both 90, Miyota 9015 automatics. And specifications, the size of the case, everything like that stay the same. The movement stays the same. Now, the reason I actually have two, besides the fact that it's nice to be able to show a couple of different versions off, is um, both of these are unsized at the moment. And of course I will, you know, here's wrist shots and everything like that you're going to see on the video here. Uh, I removed five links on uh, one of them to uh, fit to my seven and a half inch wrist. Now the reason these are both unsized when I'm recording this video is because um, I had an issue with the first one that was sent to me and because of that, um, he had to send me other ones and I asked him, hey, when you're sending the others, do you want to go ahead and uh, show me uh, a PVD one? Uh, send me a PVD one and that way uh, I could show that off in the video as well. So he had uh, obliged and sent them off. Let me try and get refocused in here real quick as best as possible while still recording. But um, both of these are, as I said, the same case and the same size, but you're getting that new dial, that new look, and now you get it with the bracelet automatically. Bunch of different versions. You're going to want to take a look at the website for that. I personally absolutely prefer these versions to the 60. That is, of course, only my personal opinion. I will have all the links down below. I hope you enjoyed this look at the 70s version of the Sea Star from Obris Morgan. You know the drill. Like, comment, follow us on social media. It is at Watch Report. I hope everybody has a great new year. Thanks for watching. Talk to you on the next one.